Hi guys, in a previous tutorial I showed you how to make clouds using planes and it looked pretty cool and it's awesome. Please watch it. It's in the link in the description down below. But now we're going to go for a more intensive way that's also pretty cool. We're going to use metaballs. So first thing you want to do is select your default cube, press X, delete, shift A and click on metaballs and let's just use a ball. Press numpad 7 for top orthographic view and just press shift D the whole time. Shift D, S scale this puppy up, shift D and create some sort of weird cloud-like base. You can make as you can make as many metaballs as you like, but the more you make, possibly the more it's gonna kill your your system. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now, but you can make it more than this if you so choose. Alright. Um in my previous example actually I made it like 50, so don't worry about about that i'm just trying to keep it short and sweet right i'm going to press numpad three for side orthographic view we can see the profile of our cloud and click on your m ball over here and scroll your mouse wheel down to the very bottom one which might be m ball 50 in this case it's m ball 9 hold and shift select that because we're going for a low poly look i guess and uh, press f3 and type in vol visual geometry to mesh click on that now all those embors have become one um, mesh. Let's rename these embors and call it clouds or cloud, right? And let's go over here to our filter and turn on disable in render and disable your in the your cloud in your viewport and your render. Press Shift A and click on volume empty. Once you've done that, go to your modify properties, add modify, and click mesh to volume, and then select your cloud. And obviously, much like you do with Mantaflow, if you want to have a higher quality texture, a higher resolution where it doesn't look so blocky, you've got to increase your voxel amount. Uh, actually, so we're going to increase this to maybe 256. And there we go. We've got this beautiful cloud-like shape. Let's change to our render view port. We're currently using Eevee. I'm going to add an HDR image that I got from hdrhaven.com. You're welcome to use it. Uh, use one there as well or not. I'm just using it for this example. Let's go to the bottom, double click on that. And there we go. Next thing you, you can do in your render settings is you can turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space ref, re, uh, reflection, volumetrics if you want an um, even better quality one. You can go down to two pixels. In this case, I'm just going to go down to four. And I'm going to turn on uh, volumetric shadows because this is the entire volumetric thing. So if you've got a fast computer, chuck this on too. Let's try it. I don't. I shouldn't do that. And if you really want to slow down your computer, if you've got a potato PC like me, turn on refraction as well. Once you've done that, the next thing you can do to improve the quality of these clouds, currently it looks puffy. It looks like a cloud almost. Numpad 3. Let's off it slightly. There we go. Uh, we can add another modifier known as a volume displace. And if you've ever used a displacement modifier before, you know you're going to be dealing with your texture properties. So we're going to press new. And of course, we're going to add a texture over here. And the texture we're going to use, surprise, surprise, it's going to be your clouds texture. And we could mess with the settings here if you like to change the way the clouds look. You can see it's more puffy now, which is quite cool. Uh, but we are going to change the strength. I'm going to increase the strength to at least one. And by doing so, it definitely looks more like a cloud, which is pretty cool. And obviously, you could change the way the, the cloud looks in your scene purely by using your light source and going to your um, object data properties of your light. And just uh, if you wanted to, you could just change your color of your light. Oh, let's give my PC a chance to register that I chose yellow. There we go. It changes it automatically. However, in this example, let's leave this on white. And as you know, white is FFF, FFF. And let's increase the strength actually of this light source to double. And let's give this volume, this cloud volume, a material. So you just go over here and you press new and this is where your computer can really struggle because normally when you add a material 
to um, an object, you do it to the surface. In this case, you can't do that because we're dealing with a volume. So if we switch over here and we go to our shader editor, you'll notice that if we zoom in here, let's really zoom in so you can see on your screen what I see. Let's also lift this up a bit. It, this is principled volume connected to the volume, not the surface. If you connect it to the surface, you won't see much at all. But if you connect it to the volume, you see it. And it's as simple as this. If you want to change the color, you can. You just do this. Boom. Now you've got white clouds. Or you can say, you know what? That's so boring. Let's make it whatever color you like. In this case, I'm going to stick to whitish and you can mess with the density here so if you make it five it's going to be a bit darker now because the light can't go all the way through because you've got too many clouds here but you can also see the big patches here of that cloud displacement texture really showing up and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make clouds using your metabores